purpose of the KMAX cargo delivery program is to provide an air delivery asset to remove from the battlefield many of the convoys that have to be manned by hundreds of uh, Marine Corps folks to deliver the same kinds of cargo that are needed on a daily basis to support the troops in the remote areas of Afghanistan. We're trying to make a machine do the job that a man has put his life on the line to do many times over and take that risk, if you will, out of some of the mundane but required tasks that uh, combat uh, places on armed forces all over the world. Converting a, a manned aircraft to an unmanned aircraft has been a challenge for the industry. Uh, it has uh, certain advantages in that it allows you to work through a series of problems uh, with the safety net of having a pilot on board. And we've been able to fly hundreds of hours with a local operator on board. We're currently removing a safety pilot and operating completely as an unmanned cargo delivery system. This is 359, one of the two command KMAX aircraft that we own. And this is a single purpose aircraft, heavy lift aircraft. You can see the aircraft is centered all around the cargo hook. Cargo hook is uh, rated at 6,000 pounds. The aircraft weighs about 6,000 pounds full of gas, so we can lift our own weight. If you look up at the main rotor system there, counter rotating rotor system, counteract the torque, don't need a tail rotor, more power. Another unique feature of the Command KMAX here are these servo flaps out here. The counter rotating rotor system, uh, we control the direction of flight using these servo flaps. We have no hydraulic system. So if we want to go left, right, up, down, whatever, we put the input into the flight controls and it changes the pitch of the blade just by simply bending them through these servo flaps out here on the, located on, almost at the end of the rotor system. So out here at Yuma Proving Grounds, we have a wide expanse of area that is totally restricted from all other air traffic. What we'll do here is we'll emulate and train on many scenarios that the Marine Corps has provided us. Uh, and additionally, we will test many of our functional elements of the system and the autonomous capability. Our ground station is somewhat unique in that we have a dual data link capability, one that's satellite based and the other that is line of sight based. Uh, it's a very simple laptop computer based uh, system that gives us uh, control over the aircraft over a wide range of distances. The night environment here is very unique in that we have very little light in the area and it highlights our capability to use night vision goggles to precisely position our loads in our aircraft. Ten years from now, there will be fleets of fully autonomous cargo aircraft operating probably worldwide in a very net-centric environment.